Welcome back. In the previous video, we created an endpoint to fetch a single to do. In this video, we are going to create an endpoint to update. Alright, so let me name this one, comment here, update to do. And the function will be cons update to do because tab 9, I have this auto complete. A function call request the response, and here, let me bring in my try and catch method. Okay, so here let me call this one assign a variable called to do is equal to await, then find by id. Okay, request. So let me write line by line called to do dot find by id and update, and this function takes in three parameters. One with the ID that you want to update. So you can get that one from request.params.id. The next one will be the thing that you want to update. First, in the title. Okay, to be request.body. Dot body. Dot title. Right? And description will be what? Also the same thing. Will be request the body dot description. And the last configuration will be some additional configuration that's going to tell us that we need to, um, for example, we have new here, and new simply means that when a user change the title, we, should, we have to we have to save the new one inside our DB, and then run validators, meaning that we need to run the validation that is from our mongoose schema for example if the person refuses to provide a title you have to run the validation and then to throw an error that description or title is required so with this in place we are done and then let's just send something in case there's an error okay the json which will be the the error like that so let's export this one from this file and then call this one update to do so let's go to our route and then just bring in that so here let's bring in here on uh, the next line let's go update to do and then here let's copy one of the endpoints and that is the same thing and instead of get it to be put okay and then it to be update to do also exactly the same thing because we don't need the, the, the a particular to do that we want to update so I'm going to rely on the ID that is passed into the params. All right, so with this in place, let's head over to Postman and then try. Yeah, so I co I copy this one on the to do's endpoint here. So slash to do's something something slash five thousand slash API slash to do slash the ID, and then there is put request. So let me update it and see. Um, I think I have some error. Let me see. No, but what is wrong? So let me get one of the IDs here and then update and then pass in the ID. And let's see, I get nothing. So let's see, my response is not coming. So let's go to the to do controller and then oh, I wait. Sorry, the update scroll down. This is update. Oh, I'm not sending. The response to the user this one so here to be response.json and then let me send the to do that I've updated so it is in place let's try again so let me go to those and then hit so the response coming again let's try no response Quite strong, so let me try. Let me see. Is it the route to be put to do and then update to do definition? Update to do try here. 
and then I'll assign this one JSON find by ID oh sorry dot ID yeah because I'm not getting the ID so with that let's start I think you'll be good to go good as you can see node 2 has been so let me call this one even react for you to see that it's working and change this one to learn react let's send and you're good to go have you seen if you go to fetch all you have that one been updated as that all right so that's how we make the request to update to do next video we are going to tackle our last endpoint and we are finished with this api called delete to do thanks for watching